Hello brilliant minds welcome back to Ayas Tech today we have set our sights on defeating the dreaded circular dependency in angular let's unravel this together circular dependencies occur when two resources like services or classes directly reference each other this creates a cycle that angular's dependency injector can't resolve leading to the errors but fear not we are going to fix it think of it as a loop in a chain where each link needs to be independent we will learn to break the loop without breaking our application first up identifying these loops so before testing that we have to create the circular dependency now you can see we have two services a service and the b service so in the a service i am going to add a function log and console log and in the b service i will create another function now uh, i want to log this so i will use uh, first of all i need to inject the a service okay now i will use this dot a service dot log and pass it this string uh, we need to receive the now uh, this uh, b service is depending on the service a now let's go to the a service and let's depend on that we have to inject the b service first make sure to import your b service like this and now i will use this dot log or maybe this dot b service dot say hello so say hello will call the log function from the a service uh, we can see some errors in the console that circular dependency in d i detected for a service all right here is the tricky part service a depends on service b and vice versa so let's go step by step to decouple them now uh, the very first strategy is service refactoring we will create a new service to house the shared logic this common service will be injected wherever needed eliminating direct dependency between a and b so let's create another service ng generate service common and let's go to that service and here i will move the shared logic so for example let me close all of others and open the services that we need okay the say hello function is fine but the log function is the function that is shared so let me move that out so i will cut it from here and move it in the common service all right now in the b service i need to inject the common service okay and here let's use common service dot log now we don't need the a service anymore in this service so you can get rid of it now go to the a service and here we are requiring or depending on the b service we can get rid of that by injecting the common service instead because now we need the say hello function to be used in this now uh, this a service is depending on the b but b service is not depending on a so now the dependency uh, should be the circular dependency should be fixed so let's try it you can see that right now i don't see any errors you can see hello from the b service so in future if the, you make a function like uh, in the b service in summary always aim for modular and maintainable code structures this way we keep dependencies clear and avoid circular references i hope this session shed light on circular dependency like and subscribe for more angular adventures and remember a circular reference is a developer's roundabout navigate wisely happy coding see you next time